uh, they say a talent is no nationality. The statement is true and can be related to many nations including Zimbabwe. Over the years, uh, the country has uh, produced some of the best and celebrated athletes. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on the top 5 athletes to have come out of Zimbabwe and their history and achievement that has made them the best in the country. From the first Zimbabwean cricketer to be inducted into the Cricket Hall of Fame to the most decorated African Olympian. <laughs> Or number five uh, is Andrew Flower. Andrew Flower grew up in Zimbabwe and was educated in Kainuna High School. He is considered by many as the most successful cricketer to come out of Zimbabwe, the order of the Flower Brothers, and he made his debut in a one-day international encounter against Sri Lanka in the 1992 World Cup held in New Zealand. He was the country's wicket keeper for more than 10 years and is statistically by far the most successful batsman the country has ever produced. Having played 63 tests, Flower averaged a 51.54 runs. On the one-day international arena, and played a 213 matches averaging 35.34 runs. He had two stints as Zimbabwe's captain, leading them to their first test victory against Pakistan in 1995 and then became the first Zimbabwean to lead a test tour of England in 2000. An assured player of fast bowling since his early days as an opener, Flower matured into one of the best players of spin in the world and on the Indian tour early in 2001, he made 540 runs for twice out. And the Flower was so phenomenally consistent that many argue he has no rival as the best cricket player in Zimbabwe in history. At one time in 2001, Flower was ranked as the best test batsman in the world. He also made history by becoming the first Zimbabwean cricket player to be inducted into the Cricket Hall of Fame class of 2021. Uh, currently, he is working as the head coach of the Mountain Southings, having also coached the England men's side for more than five years. When asked about Flower, cricket commentator and analyst Dean Duplessis said, and I quote, it's one thing when you average 50 runs in a test match, but the more modern cricketers have a lot of team players who play around them. Whereas for Andy Flower, 9 times out of 10 would perform, it is very seldom that you would see other batsmen contribute like Andy Flower did. Not only did he score consistent runs, but there was a bigger and broader picture to Flower who also tried to make sure he batted responsibly by trying to hold the innings together and also making sure the scoreboard kept ticking. End of quote. Arguably Zimbabwe's greatest footballer of all time, a Peter Love makes it at number four. A born and bred in Bulawayo, a Peter Love played high school football at Mzilekazu. He became a household name after featuring for Islanders as a teenager before being spotted by Coventry City who lured him to the English Premiership. For the national team, the Warriors, Love was a loyal servant contributing immensely to Zimbabwe's maiden qualification at the 2004 Africa Cup of Nations staged in Tunisia as well as the second appearance at the 2006 tournament in Egypt. As the youngest star of the Ndrofu brothers, Peter scored the first Zimbabwean goal at the Africa Cup of Nations when he netted in a 2 1 loss to Egypt. Ndrofu, who was known as the Flying Elephant during his retiring career, is also the country's all time a leading a scorer with 38 goals in 100 caps for the Warriors. Uh, the record has stood since 2007 when he last represented the national team. He made history by winning uh, the Zimbabwe Soccer Star of the Year as a teenager, a feat yet to be made today. In England, Glover announced his uh, Premier League arrival by scoring away at Arsenal and later on followed that up with a hat trick away at Liverpool in March 1995 to break a 30-year-old record of a visiting striker netting three times at Anfield. 
He also played for Birmingham, Huddersfield, Sheffield United in England before joining South African Giants Mamelodi Sundowns in 2004. In South Africa, he also played there for Tanda Royal Zulu before joining Black Mambas in 2010-2011 in Zimbabwe, where he retired at. The formidable striker was a committed uh, national player who never missed a Warriors game and he was a key member of the Fabish College the Dream Team which saw the Warriors on a winning streak that brought pride and joy to all Zimbabweans in the 90s by winning several international games. When asked about Peter and Rob, Zimbabwean soccer commentator Charles Mabiga said and I quote, he is the greatest Warriors player to don that Warriors jazz. He also serves the record of the longest serving African player in England, having played for 13 years. Currently, Peter Love is the manager of South African Giants Mamelodi Sundowns. On number 3 is Nick Price. A born Nicholas Raymond Lage Price in 1957, a Price 10 Pro in 1977, and established himself as a promising newcomer, first on the Southern African Tour and European PGA Tour, where he won four tournaments through 1982. A prize graduated to the PGA Tour in 1983 when he went wire to wire to defeat American Jack Nicklaus, who was then one of the world champions, by two strokes in the World Series of Golf for his first tour victory. In 1991, Price won the Byron Nelson Classic in the Canadian Open. In 1993, he won four PGA Tour events including the Players' Championship and was named PGA Tour Player of the Year. He won the Vandom Trophy and the Arnold Palmer Awards as the PGA Tour's leading money winner. Price then turned in one of golf's greatest seasons in 1994, winning six times including the British Open and PGA Championship. He again led the money list and was named player of the year for a second year running. In August 1994, Price was ranked the world's number one golfer, a position he held for 44 consecutive weeks. No one won more PGA tournament 15 in the 90s than Nick Price. He also won an additional 12 international events in that decade. He is one of the only three players in the 90s to win major titles in the same season, joining England's Nick Faldo in 1990 and Mark O'Meara of America in 1998. On number two is Akara Black. Kara Black is a Zimbabwean former tennis player who was born in Harare in 1979. His father and older brothers, Wayne and Byron Blake, were all professional tennis players themselves. Kara captured the first award tennis association doubles crown in the year 2000. Kara matured into a top doubles player, winning seven world tennis association crowns in 2001 as he broke into the top 10. In 2002, Kara won two WTA doubles titles and a first Grand Slam mixed doubles title at a Roland Garros. 2003 would see Zimbabwe's tennis queen winning two World Tennis Association doubles titles. 2004 proved to be a great year for Kara, who won seven World Tennis Association doubles, including the prestigious Wimbledon doubles crown. The Zimbabwean also captured the Wimbledon mixed doubles title after partnering with the older brother Wayne. The Zimbabwean tennis star and a double specialist continued to learn titles in 2005, winning six World Tennis Association doubles crowns, including at Wimbledon with partner Liezo Huber. She became the first African woman to reach her number one in the women's doubles arena. She won two further World Tennis Association crowns in 2007 before pouring to nine World Tennis Association doubles titles including the Australian Open, Wimbledon and the World Tennis Association Championship. 2008 was the second number one doubles season for Kara after winning 10 World Tennis Association doubles titles including the US Open and WTA Championship. 
uh, the same year she won her third grand slam mixed doubles title at the us open this time with indian partner leander pies in 2009, she captured five WTA crowns and three in 2010. A fourth and fifth Grand Slam mixed doubles title at Australian Open and Wimbledon, both with the Leander Pies. Kara won six World WTA titles in the year 2013 and 14 before retiring in 2015. Team number one is Kesti Coventry. Born Kesti Lee Coventry Seward in Harare on the 16th of September 1983, Coventry attended a Dominican convent high school. While still in high school, she reached the same finals of the 100m backstroke at the 2000 Sydney Olympic, becoming the first Zimbabwean swimmer to do so. The same year, Coventry would land the Sportswoman of the Year award. After a Sydney success, Coventry left for college in the United States of America in 2001. In the years spent at college, Coventry won seven national collegiate athletic association titles, 14 sec titles, and was named the National Collegiate Athletic Association Female Swimmer of the Year. At the 2004 Athens Olympics, Coventry won gold in the 200 backstroke silver in the 100 meters backstroke and bronze in the 200 meters individual medley. The medals were Zimbabwe's first Olympic medals in 24 years and also the first by an individual. The other medal was the gold medal that was won by the hockey team in 1980 Moscow Olympic Games. The Golden Girl, as she was described by the later former President Robert Mugabe after heroics in Athens, would carry an Olympic form to the World Championships in Montreal, Canada, as she won several medals, which helped her scoop the female swimmer of the Meet Award. In 2008, the swimming icon's rise continued after setting a new world record at the Missouri Grand Prix after registering a time of at 2 06.39 in the 200 meters breaks to category. Coventry went on to compete at the World Short Course Championship in Manchester, where she broke three world records in the 400 meters individual medley, 200 individual medley, and 200 breaks At the 2008 Beijing Olympic, the Zimbabwe swimmer set new records in the 100 and 200 meters backstroke events with three silver and one gold in the bag uh, the zimbabwean queen of the waters was rewarded for her efforts in beijing when former president robert mkabe gave her 50,000 along with a diplomatic passport in the 2009 world championships in rome coventry won a gold and silver medal she powered to the 200 meters backstroke world title with a world record time and came second in the 400 meters individual medley. She also participated in the London 2012 and the Rio 2016 games where she did not win medals. In 2015, Coventry and the Spouse founded the Kest Coventry Academy, which provide swimming lessons. She retired in 2016 and currently the most decorated Olympian from Africa with the Minister of Youth, Sports, Arts, Recreation in the Cabinet of Zimbabwe and the Chairperson of the International Olympic Committee. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel that is the Millennium Lord Speaker Show for more videos.